afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. John Means will be the starter for the O's in this contest. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. First pitch, 107. The windup and the 01. Well, guys, these Orioles entering play today, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Hey, thanks, Matty. You know what, Dero? Nothing you'd like more than to win this one here. They've got a long roadie coming up, and they'd like to win this one to get themselves on an airplane onto a long road trip on a positive you know, note. You know this, Dan, as well as I do. Ten-game road trip, a lot of packing involved the night before this one. They're going to have to find a way to stay focused, win this ball game, and get on a happy flight. Fouled off. The 2 2. He's swung on and missed strike three. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner. It's 0 1 really starting to pour now and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather total agreement Matt in particular that pitcher's mound you know one of the things you have to really be careful not just for the position players but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now so the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field and it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge he got a swing and a miss on that last pitch but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Ground ball foul down the left side. Fouled away. The one two. Another one sent foul. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Velasquez backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Batting third. The left fielder. Giancarlo. Stanton. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Infield in the over shift here. Now the pitch. No, that's down. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. Three and 0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two out walk. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't blame them. With the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. 
settling in now Gary Sanchez and as you can tell easily from the splits he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. First delivery to him on the way high and deep to left this one's got plenty of distance and out of here and I mean by plenty that ball was crushed a two run home run off the bat of Gary Sanchez number 22 on the year and this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Here's Miguel Andujar now. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Miguel. And Duhar. First pitch of the at bat. Ball. That's the ball. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's three and zero. Oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. That one's in there. Three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, three zero count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Well, this guy makes a living on hitting fastballs. Fall behind in the count, and you'll make you pay. Yeah, Dan, you drive to the ballpark every night praying to get one 3-1 count so your eyes can light up and you can guarantee fastball let it eat. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. Oh and two here it comes froze him for strike three and that retires the side the Yankees get a couple on the two run home run bottom of the first coming up it's now two nothing New York. Garrett Cole the California born right hander is on the mound what's your take on him Dan. Matt I'm a big fan of Garrett Cole big strong guy former first round draft pick out of UCLA 96 to 98 miles an hour with sink hard slider his changeup has gotten better the longer he's pitched he has a chance to be a no hit type of pitcher every time he takes them out into the box now Andrew Velasquez it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They come in off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Matty, I can't tell you how important it is to throw that first run up on the board, and that's exactly what they did. A little crooked number, a two spot to give their pitcher a chance to relax and go out and pound the strike zone. This team has been playing red hot baseball recently. The 1 1 home is looked at off the plate for a ball. The 2 1 home. 
Swing and a soft liner. And this will be put away easily for the out. Batting set. The center fielder. Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes the next to bat. is coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball. The 1 0 home. Now a swing and a ball foul tipped right off our home plate umpire. And with no time to react, that is tough duty back there. Let's hope he's okay. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Nope. Three and one. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two-hole hitter off the bags is always important. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he has in this series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. So here's Trey Mancini. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Hayes, base runner at first with one out. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Inside here with the hard stuff and it's two and one now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. On oh, a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Three and two now. Payoff pitch home. High in the air down the right field line. Heading after it is Judge. And he makes the catch in the corner. Batting four. The designated hitter. Renato. And here's Renato Nunez. Nunez. And you see what he's done in recent action. Obviously seeing the ball well right now. From the belt, the pitch. All ones the count. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0 and 2. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So no runs here, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The Yankees lead it two to nothing. Second inning coming up, and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. 
Well, Matt, the grounds crew members that I talked to prior to the game said the weather we're experiencing right now is expected to move on as the game progresses. They said they'll put extra effort into keeping the field dry until this rain dies down. But despite it being a little wet at the moment, we should get this one in uninterrupted. Let's hope, Heidi, for all of our sake, that Mother Nature takes that front and passes it through without an incident. Striding forward now is the DH, Gio Urshela, as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. Guy continues to swing a hot bat, hit over 300 last month, We'll see if he can keep scorching here in this one. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Well, that rain is really coming down right now. It's raining cats and dogs. You got to make sure you don't step in a poodle. That's as hard as I've seen it rain all afternoon. Everyone, it's so much harder to concentrate when it rains. 2-0 oh now. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made and fast. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting it. The first base. Luke Boyd. Now with the plate, Luke Voigt. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Here's the first pitch to him. Aye. One out, nobody on. And that misses one and one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Batting nine. The shortstop. Tyler Wade. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball. You have to be careful. You can't sleep on the bunt right here, even with two outs. They're playing him back, but this guy can handle the bat. Two out, nobody on. Hey. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. Yankee shortstop behind in the count, one and two. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in a dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. As they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to bat will be the outfielder, DJ Stewart. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And it's fouled away. One strike now from Cole. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Stewart, a 25 year old, he's in his third season as a major league player. And here's one that misses, so it's two and one now to the Oriole left fielder. Two and two. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. Two two pitches fouled away. Now the pitch. Three and two now. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. 
Now the payoff pitch home. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Cole, or the Cole train, as he's frequently called. This is year one of a new nine year deal that he signed recently, so it looks like he's here to stay for a long time. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. The second baseman, Pat Vileka. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Vileka. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Cole's ready. Here's the 0-1. Nope, that's down. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMayhew at second. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They trail things here two to nothing. Back to the top of the order now, and up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Might have to change your game plan in the box right here. If he's going to pound away, might have to work the opposite field. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Now the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Here's big Aaron Judge. High in the air out to center field. Hayes is there. Two gone. Now batting. Left fielder. Giancarlo. Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way in there for strike one. Strike two. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. Two out nobody on. 
Count remains at 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope. Ball one. And he fouls this one off. He'll try again one two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. There's a ball low. He misses with a changeup. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count. And he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And he rolls over this one foul. We'll do it once more. Three and two. And now this will be the tenth pitch of the at bat. Fouled off. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning. So the Yanks go one two three. They're up two to nothing. Welcome back as the Orioles look to get the offense going here in the third. This is a lineup that has had its struggles this season. Currently, they rank dead last in the league in team batting average and perhaps more importantly, runs scored. As one of the coaches told me, the entire organization is pulling their hair out trying to figure out how to put a more potent lineup on the field, but that's not something that changes overnight. He said it's going to be a process to become the team we want to be, but we're willing to do the hard work that it's going Leading to take to get there. The Matt? Thank you, Heidi. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball one. Wins. A California born ball player. He was taken in the 10th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. One ball, one strike to count. And he misses two and one. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you. When you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. And here's a slider, strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Chris Davis at the plate now. He's hitless in the first two games of the series, 0 for 8. Here's the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Now here's the pitch. Fouled away. Another 1-2 delivery. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. 
That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Chris Davis becomes out number two this inning. Stepping into the box, Andrew Velasquez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. A ball and no strikes. All two. two and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt he's clearly fighting his mechanics. Ah. 3-1. Three one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Stanton has a read on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Nothing doing here this half. Three innings complete. It's the Yankees two and the Orioles nothing. Welcome back to Baltimore as we send you down to check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, Heidi, thank you. All set for the start of the fourth. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. The last at bat, Matty V, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Sanchez stands 6-2 as you see him in the right-handed box. Is currently third in the league amongst catchers in all-star fan balloting. Yeah, and you don't want to leave it up to a manager's decision. You want to get in based on the fan vote, and he has a chance to do exactly that if he can make a late push as we head towards the midsummer class. Yeah, Good time now to check out the Orioles' road to the yeah. show report as you see a couple of guys in the upper levels that have been making waves of late. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Grounded weakly to the left. Barehanded at his knees. It's in time. Next for the Yankees, the second baseman, T.J. LeMahieu. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth, and that'll bring in D.J. LeMahieu. First pitch on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Two runs on two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. One and two to D.J. LeMayhew. 
Hey, you think back to the early innings right there, you thought this guy would have been hitting his showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. One, two, three go the Bombers, but they hold a two nothing lead. Leading off the inning, Austin Hayes, and they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. One on its way. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Oh, that'll make you smile as a pitcher. You make a good pitch. You, you blow the guy's bat up, and then you make the play yourself. In your head, you're thinking, nice swing, meat. One out now in the Orioles' fourth, and that'll bring up the power-hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. One one. And the sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. So striding in, Renato Nunez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. He was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. 
Boy, he sped him up in this at-bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at-bat. The one-two. Locks him up for strike three. The batter. Stepping in, D.J. Stewart. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Judge is on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Orioles leave one. They trail it here two to nothing. Giovanni Urshela. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Gio Urshela. First pitch of the at bat. Looks like a lefty and a right hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Line towards center field, and that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. No balls in one strike. Nobody out, runner on first. A nope. ball and a strike. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Ball. Lays off the changeup, and he's ahead in the count now. Three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count his favorite three and one. The three one, and he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but now especially bad. troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. At the plate, Tyler Wade. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush what a up? heater right here. And this is low, ball one. None out, runners at first and second. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Wade. A 25-year-old, he was a fourth-round selection back in the draft of 2013. Hey, this middle-round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a run lot of time run. to get his tool set ironed out. And it's fouled away. The one-and-two pitch. On a line to shortstop. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. First pitch on its way. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Two balls and no strikes. 
couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. All even now, two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. On a rope to the second baseman. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. Two men on, two out, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Bottom part of the zone. A good changeup gets the call. Two down. Runners at first and second. Now a swing and a miss. And things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Lifted down the line and left. The next 0 2. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Yanks strand a pair as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Stepping into the box, Hanser Alberto, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Digging in to try it again. Pat Valaika. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. A ball and a strike now. Now the one and one pitch. He's in there for strike number two. To two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. We got full count. Bases are empty, one man out. Sliders strike three called and that's a pitcher's pitch right there two gone. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game like it has here. So now to the plate Austin wins as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. 
ripped on the ground to first. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're still down. It's 2-0. Hector Velasquez takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 76, Hector Velasquez. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch on its way. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Here's the 0 1. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Oh, and two, here it comes. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. But in this situation, he was able to hold back. That's a nice take. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now about Gary Sanchez will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Here it comes. Ball one, no strike. And now a right hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. One out, nobody on. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Ball to strike on the inside part of the plate, 2-1. and one. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Now the 2 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Bases are empty, one man out. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate now, Miguel Andujar. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0 and 1. He's 1 for 2 in this one. Now the pitch. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. O2 delivery. One ball, two strikes. Now a foul 
fingertip held onto behind the plate. Nice work there to get the punch out, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and Beat set to go is the Fourth veteran Oral, first baseman, Chris the Davis. First baseman, Chris Davis. The pitch. Yeah. A swing and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a solo home run for Chris Davis. Home run number nine on the year. As the Orioles have cut into the deficit, it's now a two to one ball game. That bomb didn't tie things up, but they're only down one right now and feeling pretty good they can come back. Now batting. Into the box, Andrew Velasquez. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. One strike now from Cole. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Every pitcher gives up home runs, now some more than others, but the best ones forget about there. them as soon as the next guy hey. digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Into the box now, Austin Hayes. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. One out, nobody on. Hey. Taken, cold strike two on the inside part of the plate. 1 and 2 now. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. The count now at 2 and 2. Pitch on the way. Too high. Ball three. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Bases are empty. One man out. Struck him out. And he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job no bouncing right back from that Number home run 16. to strike out the next two guys. Right. Sometimes you're going to get taken Bad. deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. After it is Gardner. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Your Sean Armstrong three. is on his way now into the ballgame now as he'll be making his 50th Number appearance of the year. John Armstrong. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. 
Lamin. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. In now, Gio Urshela, one for two on his line so far in the game. First offering on its way. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone, and it's a foul ball. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, it's on the ground a second. Did he get his double play? A tag for one. Relay to Davis, and indeed it's a double play. Up next for the Yankees, the first baseman, Lee Voigt. At the plate, Luke Voigt. Lifetime in this matchup. It's been a steady five for nine. He's taken him deep once. First pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hayes on the run for it. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the Ladies inning. Down in order go the Yankees, as they're unable to add to their 2-1 to one lead. So here's the cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Now the 1 0. There's a fastball down below the knees. You'll hear me say this time after time up here in the booth. You fight so hard to get into these counts. 1 0, 2 0, 3 1. They don't happen often. This is a huge spot. Count leverage. Look for him to get loose on the fastball right here. Now the 2 1. Hey. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2 2. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3 2. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. You know, professional catchers make those plays look easy most of the time, but that was a big play that shouldn't go unnoticed. Had he found a way on, he would have represented a tying run. So that was a nice job there to make sure that strikeout didn't get wasted. So striding forward now, DJ Stewart. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 1. 
We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. The one one home. Is a fastball that misses. The two one. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning, so he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of the stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Stepping in now, Hanser Alberto. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Judges under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They still trail it here, two to one. Wait Paul Fry has been You're summoned like from the bullpen as he'll do so now to start the eighth. The Number 51, Paul Fry. All set for the start of the inning. And Three coming off. forward now is the shortstop, the Tyler Wade. Tyler Wade. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Wind up and the 0 1. Popped him up. Wins moving to his left. He's got it one away. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Here's Brett Gardner now. First pitch of the at bat. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And there's one ball one. one. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. Stepping in, Aaron Judge. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. Throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning. So the Yanks go one two three. They still lead it two to one. Adam Ottavino is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number zero. Adam Ottavino. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Pat Valaika. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So the Down Orioles back. get their leadoff man aboard to start the inning. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. Standing in now, Austin wins. And he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. No hits to this point. home is in there for strike one two and one Hit down the line at first, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. A runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Jose Iglesias will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 11, Jose Iglesias. And chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Iglesias is just shy of six feet at 5'11", a right-handed batter and thrower. He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. The 2-1. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Now swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. Now batting. 
number 88. Digging in, Andrew Velasquez. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Whoa, that's good. The 1-0. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Austin Hayes would be next. Out of the stretch, the three-two home. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. The danger is Giancarlo Stanton. They'll get the first shot when we return. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Yankees two and the Orioles one. Michael Givens enters the game from the pen and because this is a non save situation it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah and this is all about just getting him some work guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Digging in now, Giancarlo Stanton. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here comes the first pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold 0 and 2. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Here's a fly ball well hit. Therefore, it is Mancini, and that's the first out of the inning. Now back, catcher, Gary Sanchez. Digging in, Gary Sanchez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Four, that's inside. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Could take there to lay off the high fastball. Givens offers up perhaps one of the nastiest sliders around and it won't be uncommon to see a lot of off balance swings against it and it'll be easy to see why once you see it come out of his hand. He's got a huge break on it. Now the 2-0 is swung on and missed strike one. Boy what a time to pull the string on him on 2-0. There's no way anyone's thinking change up. So if you can locate it that's pretty much unhittable. Swing and a line drive but a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. 
He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. So now to the plate, Miguel Andujar. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He's working on a one for three thus far. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Bounce to first. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They lead it two to one. Your oldest Chapman is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And standing in the outfielder, Austin Hayes. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a liner, but foul. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Oh one. Chapman, nicknamed the Missile for obvious reasons. He's in year one of a new three year deal. That's no good. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Now the 2-1 pitch. Down, three, Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. The 3-1 is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Here comes the payoff pitch. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher, and he'll be very happy with how the day went. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. To the plate now, Trey Mancini. And he fouls this one off. 0 for 2 for him to this point. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. And now the designated hitter for the Orioles, Renato Nunez. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. 
And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. And a 2 0 fastball runs away, 3 0 now. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one run game, he doesn't want to walk you, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking bad. that guy. He's no, capable of taking four. deep every time he digs in. So it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Striding in, DJ Stewart. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Chapman's ready. Here it comes. Hey. Two out with the man at first. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Baltimore down to their final strike. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Fouled away. And he struck him out for route number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Yanks jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Garrett Cole hangs win number 11 on his line, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Aroldis Chapman strikes out the side to record the save, his 21st of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.